Hi, right, welcome back to a brand new video of the Target Angel program, Target and Village Prince. So they always find some crafty ways in order to send me a subliminal message, right? <laughs> so I'm walking out of my apartment building. They have one of the, their sambos sitting on the steps. And um, as I right by the door, they have to... Uh, open to get out right and he's sitting there and he has his thumb sticking out and then on the other hand he had uh you know look like weed i want in his hand just holding it in his hands and then taking his uh pinky finger from his other hands and you know uh, pressing it into the marijuana in his uh, hands. Now, things like that don't make any sense because it, it's first of all it's, like it's raining. First of all, right? With an umbrella, it's not raining heavy, but it's raining. But you sitting down in front of the step, on the step, I should say, with reading it in one hand. With your pinky finger uh, digging into the uh, pressing into the weed, and he did that as soon as he seen me come out my apartment. Right, walking in the hallway. All right, he saw me. He was standing there looking, and I saw him. Uh, I walked through the door. And, uh, he uh, decides to sit right by. The door so when you open like in the, when you're coming out you open the door he's right there and i'm like okay uh what are you trying to you know trying to get me to smoke weed uh no thank you because <laughs> yeah, you know in the crescent persuasion program they try to get you uh hooked on drugs All right that's one of the the cry that's one of the um the methods and the tactics that they will use right to to have you uh addicted to drug whether it be alcohol or drugs right that's what they do and you know just exposing them in every way have to all right have to get changed for the bus so yeah and, um, you know, last night I was up a little bit, couldn't sleep really. Um, you know, I should be taking my sleeping medication as soon as I, uh, hey, so sleeping medication here at Car Honking, because uh, they know I gotta go get some more from the pharmacy. And, um, you know, like I said, they, they, they track everything that I do, right? They, from the remote load monitoring, everything that I do. Look at the, just walk over here, walk over here to the street, put his hands uh, up, uh, just put his finger, <laughs> that's the traffic agent, so let me tell you, and they do it in such a way that I, I won't be able to record it, right, so again, it, it's, it, what, and what that does is, you know, put it in that, well, you're going to have to, either, are you going to believe him, or are you going to, are you gonna take his word for it for what he says? That's a, hey, you guys, you, should, you guys should know. This is what I do. What I do. I've shown you guys. I've talked about stuff that's happening to me and other TIs. No one believe it, so I'm showing you. All right. So this is the type of things that they that they would do. All right. And again, you know, whatever narrative. They try to do or try to say, try to create, you know, like I said, I'm going to defend myself because these sociopaths and psychopaths love to uh, let you know, right? So this morning, my um, ex fiance called me, not this morning, yeah, it's this morning anyway, it's not 12 o'clock yet, but, um, you know, about half an hour ago, you know, she was telling me, oh, um, my daughter uh, can't connect the internet because... All of a sudden now she only has uh, one bar. 
She goes, she only has one ball. It's weak. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> That's not how you would describe uh, not being connected, able to connect to the internet or the internet, you know, um, being slow or you don't have good uh, reception for the Wi-Fi. You know, you'll say, hey, you know, uh, uh, my daughter can't connect to the internet because she said that uh, she, she tried to connect the internet is slow and she it only has uh, one ball on the signal indicator, right? Then she goes, oh, it's, it's can't get internet. Can't get internet. It only has one ball and it's weak. And I'm going to tell you why they make her say these things, right? As a TI, anybody who you uh, no, they're, they're, they're going to do their research and uh, infiltrate those, those individuals. I remember a couple of years ago, she had came to New York and she told me that she had, um, she was staying at uh, some woman house in New Jersey. I guess she might have did a, um, you know, a, a Airbnb. And she's like, yes, you know, it's an older, it's an older white woman, you know, and I'm like, oh man. And and I can remember these things, right? And it was like from that moment on is when they started using her to uh, engage in in the in the targeting through her, using her, right? Just like uh, the kids, mom, Pam. Before you know, I, I before I'm like, okay, so they're just really manipulating her. You know, uh, and then she had uh, went out, and I guess you know what I stayed in some hotel or some whatever. It was. But anyhow, uh, and then from that moment they started. When I was going to school, every time I walked past by the Marriott, they had a few curbs, and every time they would see me, they would look up at the hotel. And I was like, because after that, I was when she, st I started noticing a shift in her in terms of that she was like really, really aggressively uh, targeting me in such a way. Right, and you know, it, it, she, she became very, very aggressive. Okay, so yesterday she came in and she started. You, she, she like every time she sees me, she's like, "Oh boy." So I start saying, "Oh girl," every time I see her. Right, so whenever she says, "Oh boy," I say, "Oh girl," and you know, you have to understand as a black man, the racist. Because I tell you, when my target first began, it wasn't a lot of white supremacists targeting. Mm -hmm. They made it known on the police force, or on the, on the you know, criminal force. You know, so they made that very well. Known. My target has a lot of racial components to it. Right. So again, whenever they try to manipulate me, whatever way they'll use her. As soon as she walked in, she'd be like, "Oh boy, she sees me." Every time she sees me now. It's old boy. So I started saying old boy. And then after a while she would stop. Right? And coincidentally, whenever the word girl is mentioned, they will use the police siren. Like I said, there's certain words. You know, I gotta I'm 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 creating a list. I got I got quite a list so far. <laughs> but um, when I have the opportunity, if I can remember, I'm gonna do a video on this and I'm gonna and I'm gonna break it down. Sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, and go through each word and break down what they may be trying to insinuate you know and again this is just my interpretation and um, from my experience and so I'm going to uh, do that anyhow I will talk to you guys on the next video